everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I have my October favourites. I was like, what month is it again? October. I have my October favourites today. Um, I missed out on my September favourites because I just had a lot going on. I moved, I had a birthday. We don't need to discuss how old I am. Let's just say, you know, I'm 19 plus three. Oh, yeah, I'm 22. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I missed out my September favourites, but I have got a few October favourites and I'm super, super excited to tell you guys what they are. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to dig into it because I don't really have much else to say. No, so I'm going to get into it. So I'm going to start off with one of the most obvious ones, which is probably my hair. I did my hair, it was towards the end of October, I'm not going to lie. It was probably the last week and a half that I did it. Um, it is a wig. I do have a video that's already up. I'll leave it in down below for you guys. Um, but I just love it. I really do. I think it really does suit me. I feel like bright hair does suit me. Um, and I just love it. Like, I, I'm obsessed with my wig. I wear it quite often. I just, I love it, basically. And I don't really know what much else to say. If you are interested in how to get silver silver hair or how to make a wig it is all in that video which I will leave the link down below um I am considering dyeing the roots black um but I'm, I'm not too sure yet but at the moment I just I love this basically so this is my first favorite my second favorite is vlogtober now for all of October I vlogged I think I missed one day which was the first day um and I missed that because I was at university from nine till six and I was like I can't start vlogtober for like a two minute vlog so I decided to start it the next day um, and I absolutely loved Vlogtober. You guys have given me such amazing feedback and um, I've definitely noticed a change in my channel since I've done Vlogtober. I've noticed a change in myself. I've become a lot more confident with you guys. Um, I've become a lot more confident out in public vlogging like you know like hey I can do that now. Um, I've noticed a change in how many subscribers I'm getting, how many people are following me on like Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. I always leave them linked down below if you are interested and you're not following me on anything. Um, I'm not trying to plug myself. <laughs> um, but I've, I've really, really, really enjoyed Vlogtober and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching me, um, enjoying me, uh, commenting, liking and all that kind of stuff. It really... It, it, it really makes me feel really good that I know that I'm not just putting out videos that you guys are like why am I subscribed to this girl? Even like my friends who like I go to university with they're like I love watching you and I'm like guys we see each other like all the time um, but it's just been an amazing experience for me and I really have loved it. Um, I do have an announcement about vlogging which is going to be up in a couple of days so just wait for that um but yeah so i've really enjoyed vlogtober that's been my second favorite so moving on to beauty which is probably why most of you guys are here we're gonna dig in there's quite a few you know hang tight it's a long one so my first one is this this is my mac Mirai skin finish in the shade dark it looks like this um i've had this for quite a while i've just never really reached for it um I don't use it to bronze my face with, um, I don't feel like it gives off a good bronze um, but I do use it to contour and I absolutely love the way it contours me. This powder has the ability to um, make you go from a subtle contour to a very deep contour um, and I absolutely love this. It's perfect as well for my nose contour. My nose contour, I'm not going to lie to you guys, my nose contour has been on fleek. Like, you guys can't tell what my nose looks like. And don't try and lie and say yes if you can because you can't. It's because of this powder. I am just, I love it. I honest to God love it. I think it's an amazing powder. Obviously it is a bit expensive because it's MAC. But if you guys are starting off a little MAC um, collection. Or if you guys want to start looking at things to get from MAC. I would suggest one of these. Um, you guys know that I love the Give Me Sun bronzer. Um, but I really do like the dark one to contour with as well. My next thing is from MAC as well. Um, and this is the Mineralize Foundation Loose in the shade Light. And um, you guys know that I love the Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Light, like the pressed powder. And um, this one is just a loose powder in the shade Light. I've used it in a few of my tutorials as well. I don't know if tutorials are gonna be up before this video or after, but you guys will see this a lot on my channel. I love this. I love the pressed powder in Light Plus as well, and I absolutely love the loose powder in Light. So many people, when all I've done is set my under eye, have been like, Sophie, what highlighter have you used? I haven't used any highlighter. It is just this. This is so amazing because because it is a loose powder it's not cakey and it's not thick it's not gonna look like oh my god she can't move her cheek kind of thing it just looks natural did i use this today 
yes, I have used this today. Um, there is a tutorial on this coming, um, but I have used this today and I just think it's an amazing, amazing thing to put under your eye. It really does help with the creasing because it's a loose powder. It can, all the little powders can kind of fit in your creases and like look like you're not creasing. Um, but I absolutely love this. Again, I know this is an expensive product. I do use a lot of high-end products and I do admit to that openly. Um, I just find that they work a lot better for me and I absolutely do love this. Another powder, I've got quite a few powders actually, um, is this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I have had this, um, when did I get this? In the summer like really early in the summer, like June, and I've just never used it until the past few weeks. Um, and it looks like this, and it's three colours. Um, there's dim light, incidescent light, and radiant light. I love this, not to highlight, but to set my face. I kind of get a massive brush and just buff them all together, and then just buff it on my face, and I love the way it looks. I've never been a fan of setting my face, um, because I don't like to look matte, I like to look dewy, um, but I've noticed that when I didn't set my face and I tried to put a powder on there, sometimes like it will move, it will look muddy, it just wouldn't look nice. But using this, because they are all illuminators, but they're not like powerful illuminators, I can still set my face and look dewy. I just really, really like this. I know that this one as well is a high-end product and I know it's a bit expensive, but I do love it. Sticking on the powder vibe, which I'm just apparently in love with, I have this Laura Geller um, Baked Illuminator in the shade Ballerina. I know there's another one of hers. I can never remember the name of it that everyone is hyping about, but I love this one. This one looks bronzy. One of my subscribers asked me what colour it is because she said in here it looks bronzy, but when I put it on it's not. So I'm going to swatch it for you you love um, and that's what it looks like there put it on the skin so as you can see it's not very bronzy when I when I can physically look at it right now there's quite a lot of pinkiness to it um, and then when you rub it out it's quite rose gold I'm gonna say I wouldn't say bronzy at all um, it is quite rosy gold and, and when I look in the pan as well it does look rose gold um, so that's what color it is I absolutely love the way this looks on my cheeks. I have it on today and I've used it a lot in my other tutorials as well. Like I said, I don't know when they're gonna be up, so bear with me. Um, but I absolutely love the way that this looks. It's so powerful with such a small amount. And I just, I love the way it looks basically. It makes me look like I can glow from here. And when you're up in NASA in space and shit, you can still see me. Like, why wouldn't I love that, right? And then the final powder that I have, I still have more powder because this is a little less powder, is the Kevin Aquan. I know Kevin Aquan is really expensive. I'm really sorry, again, but I absolutely love this. So this is the Matte Bronzing Veal in the shade Desert Nights. Now, I used this on a whim one day and I was just like, oh, let me just try it. I love this bronzer. This bronzer is orange toned, which is gonna make you look bronzed. When you're using bronzer, you want an orange or a red toned, it's gonna make you look bronzed. When you want a contour, you want a cool tone, because that's gonna make you look contoured. Anyway, this is incredible. It's not too orangey, it's not too red, and it's just perfect. I honest to God love this. Like, I don't, oh. It's just so, it's one of those bronzes that you can make look subtle, but if you wanna pile it on and look bronze, then you can. I have used this again today, and I have used it in other tutorials, and I love the way it looks. It's just a nice, nice, nice bronzer. Now, I will openly say that I do think there are ones that you can get cheaper, the MAC Give Me Sun one, there are probably ones in the drugstore, the Collection 2001 in the shade, what shade are you? I'm sure it's tan. It's either tan or bronze, something like that. It's a similar one as well. But I just love this one for this month. I do like all the others, but I just really do love this one for this month. And if you are looking to splurge, or you are looking at Kevin Aquan, or you are looking at a new bronzer, then I would suggest this one as well. My next one, I think I've already spoke about this in the favourites, but I'm gonna do it again. I freaking love this concealer. Well, I use it to highlight, but shh. It's the Shishido Perfecting Stick Concealer in the shade 11, fair. And it just looks like this. Should we swatch it a little bit? Let's go. Oh! Now, now, when I first got this, I think I've mentioned this before, I was too scared to use it. I was like, there's how no way that that's going on my face. That is too bloody bright. But again, I just used it on a whim and I was like, freaking hell. 
This concealer is amazing to highlight with. I haven't personally used it for my under eyes because it's a bit too bright for under eyes, but I use it to highlight 24 seven. And the amazing thing about this is you think because it's in a stick, it's gonna be very thick and very full. It is still full coverage, but it's quite thin and it's so amazing just to blend out. It's so creamy. It doesn't feel cakey in the slightest. I love this. That's probably why I've already mentioned it in my favourites and I'm going to continue to mention it in my favourites. My yearly favourites, you'll see this. I, I kid you not. I love this. Next I have my little beauty blender. Please ignore how dirty it is. I used it today. Um, and this is just the bug standard normal beauty blender from like, you know, the original beauty blender. Um, I have a pink one. I need to get another one because I love these so much. I use them 24 seven. I love them. I used it today for my foundation. It makes your foundation flawless, but thin if that makes sense. So right now, if you guys are watching my vlogs, you know my skin right here and here is extremely bad. Like, I, I, I kid you not, it's really, really bad. But I use this and it just looks like my skin is flawless. Like my skin looks photoshopped. I love this. I know it's a bit expensive. I got mine from Salfridges um, and it was 16 pounds. I know Sephora sells them and I think in America you can get them a lot more than we can. Um, but I know there are dupes. Um, the Real Techniques one is good, but I haven't used that Real Techniques one since I've got this. So that's what I'm just going to say. Um, and like I said, I do know it is a bit steep of a price, but I, I just love them. I really, really, really love this so much. Another one of my oldie but goodies is my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So like I said, my skin has been super, super, super bad. I don't know what it is. I, I really don't, um, but I've been using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation non-stop because whenever my skin gets bad or if I get a breakout, I stop what I'm using and I always go back to my NARS Sheer Glow. This foundation actually helps me with my breakouts. I don't know how. I feel like just because it's just a good product for my face and it doesn't break me out. It's not scented. It's not um, fragrancy. It's nothing too damaging for my skin. I always end up going back to this and my skin clears up. Um, I can't say enough good things about this. I just think it's an incredible foundation and I've always recommended this in my um top 10 NARS products I mentioned this I think this is a staple I think if you guys are able to splurge so much on a foundation then I think you generally should go for this one I I just I love it I love it I love it then is a random one which again I just use on a whim and I've actually just began to fall in love with it and it is this. This is a Kat Von D, uh, what are you called, are you called liquid lipsticks? The Royal called Everlasting Li Liquid Lipsticks, that's it. And this is in the shade Witches. Now I know Anastasia Beverly Hills do one in black as well, which everyone is going crazy about, but I use the Kat Von D one and I think it is incredible. Now black lips somehow have just totally just destroy the scene right now like they are the thing and I'm all there with them I love black lips right now I think they're incredible I think they slay they make you go from like zero to a hundred and yeah basically I just love them and this is the particular one that I have been using again I do have a black lip tutorial up I don't know if it's up before this but you guys have seen me anyway for my vlogtobers um but I just love this. I really, really love black lips and I feel like this consistency as well for the Kat Von D one in particular is amazing. Um, and yeah, I just can't say enough good things about it. Next is one that I always forget to put in my favourites and this time I was like, put it in, no matter what. And it is this. This is the Sephora Highlight Low Light Face Contour Duo in the shade Tan. So it comes with a highlight side, which is just super yellow, and then a contour side, which is obviously brown. Um, and I just love this. Now, I think that this product is amazing because I kind of, I sort of class Sephora as a drugstore, like Sephora's brand, um, just because it's a lot more cheaper than the stuff that they sell as well, if that makes sense. Um, and I think this is an incredible product. I choose this over the majority of my cream contours um, just because I love the way it looks. It's a very natural, I've used it today. It's very natural, it's so, so easy to blend. This, this isn't cute, I don't mess with it. But the contour side is incredible. If they could make the contour just by itself, then I would buy that. But obviously you have to buy both of them together, but that's fine. Um, it's not that expensive, I don't think, I think it's like $18 which is like, I don't know how much that in pounds, like 14 pound maybe? 
Oh, it is a bit steep actually. Well, either way, um, I absolutely love this and I think it's amazing. You guys see me talk about it all the time. I finished the one before, so I had to wait to get this one, but now I've got this one back. I'm just obsessed with using it so much. And then finally, my last thing I've been loving this month is this. Now this, oh my God, what's happened to you? There we go. <laughs> this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. Now, lately, for some reason, I don't know why, my pores have just been like, hey, and have decided to open up like little people that they are. And I've got really big pores around my nose area, a little bit on my upper lip, and I've always had problems with creasing under my eyes anyway, but I've never really treated it. Um, but ever since I've been using this, I've noticed a lot of difference with the way that my face looks. It's a lot more smoother. It's a lot more um, just nicer to look at, really. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, I don't have things seeping into them anymore. This is an amazing, amazing primer. I know that a lot of people compare it to the Benefit one, the poreless. I don't like that. I just don't like the consistency of it. It's a lot different to this one. I feel like the Benefit one kind of flakes away a bit. I don't know if that's just the ones that I've tried, um, but I absolutely do love this one. Debenhams in England are now selling um, Makeup Forever in some of their stores. They're selling it in the Birmingham one and the London one. They are coming to the Manchester one, girls and guys, <laughs> beware, and they do it online as well, so if you are interested, you can get them like that. I just, I love this so much. I think it's an incredible primer, and I just think it's a very, very, very nice consistency as well. So that is it for my October favourites, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and until next time, guys, I will see you guys soon. Bye!